No me quisiera entender, quisiera ser como los demás que no lo sienten. Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you a couple things. Um, my mom bought, gave me this. She didn't buy it for me, but she gave me this diamond pendant. I love it. She just surprised me with it. I was at her house and. Um, you know people from New York they're into like jewelry makes nice clothes all that New York New York okay so anyways I'm gonna show you <clears throat> a couple of my favorite things let's just start with the stupid bag you guys want to see the bag my purchase so I broke my no bag spend decree and this is what I got and look I mean it's cute but look how small I mean come on and I'm way too thick for it like even when I put it cross body it's like you gotta be super petite for these little bags, unless you just wanna carry it the whole time. But you can only fit like one bag. So this is a Balenciaga Neo, Super Neo Nano or something. See, I needed just the Nano, which is at least you could hold the phone, I believe. Um, so yeah, this is going back, I'm really sad, but I found a seller on a different site who has the same one, but a size up. So I'm gonna get it, but I mean, so I spent like 850 for this. So if I spend 11, I get the size I want. So I'd rather just spend 11. It's still not an extortionate price bag, like the Chanel or something like that. I gave most of my Louis away, so, but. And the thing about these, these always break off. I have had three Balenciagas. My favorite one is to wear my little black slouchy one. Let me get it. So this is really my most used bag. This is the type of bag you can go to a restaurant, put it on the floor, put it on the dirty, sticky table and not really trip. It's like super um, like carefree, fuss free. But these things always break off. Like you see, I'm down to one string. I, I wish they would make these a little bit sturdier, maybe put more of a coating on it and not just be raw leather. But yeah, this is my go-to bag, the Crack City bag. I've had this in pink, I've had it in faded blue. But one thing about the Balenciagas is the straps do get beat up. So this is a different little style of the same brand, but way too small. So this one's going back. Pretty sad about it, because I have to wait for it to get to where it's going and process the refund. But another little favorite thing is the soup base for noodles. You know, LV, Leathers, LV Lover CC shared this. It's kind of fishy, but if you, know, you go to a Korean restaurant and order like udon or something, that fishy taste, this is what you get. It has anchovies, soy sauce. This is a nice soup base. So I've had a lot of bad luck with my online purchases, you know? It's like, uh, anyways, and then I made the Sea Monster, which has retinoic acid, vitamin C, hydroquinone, because my molasses has been pretty bad since I moved out here. I've been swimming, I've been in the sun, and um, you see the bumps is here, here and here, and it just like kills me. So this is good, put on at night. I also made like a little thicker mask. So DM me on Instagram at Lamilk, L-E-M-Y-L-K, if you're interested in any of my skincare products or you can just purchase online. I don't think I've listed this yet though. Just been super busy with the move. But yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna return the bag and then when I come back, I'll show you what the new bag looks like. Also, I bought some flowers, which I'm gonna plant in the front, but the gardener comes today because I'm almost like, that's your job, I'm paying you for that, but I could do it myself, you know? Actually, no, because I don't have a shovel. All I have is like a cooking spoon. I'm gonna dig the hole with a cooking spoon. But, and then he's cutting my hedges flat. So I wanna show you how he's cutting my hedges. I don't like that. It's kind of like old lady-ish. Um, at some point I wanna like, con you know, use contract with Yardsen and have them do the design and then I can show the, my gardener the design. Cause I, I don't, have, I have like, I have no clue how to like design a garden and flower beds, the style I want. Everyone's doing the, the white pavers with the turf in between so you get like that checkerboard design or the rectangular um, block design. Kylie Jenner's doing it. Everyone I see on Instagram is doing that look. I don't I don't know, I might do that in the back in one little patch, but for the front I have no clue what to do. So let me show you the flowers that I got. Okay, you see, so we could put them in the front 
or over there on that side. But you see how he made this flat? I don't like this flat part. This part looks like looks like old lady. So I gotta tell him, I gotta tell him not to cut that flat because I don't like that flat part. You know? And then I also got a little lemon tree for the back. Let me show you the lemon. The lemon tree. I'm okay with that room. I just don't like how the dog and my daughter. In fact, they should be hanging in here. This is a family room. But yeah, I also got this little lemon tree. But that's the area where I could potentially do that design that everyone's doing, where it's like the turf with the pavers and the turf again. I'll insert a picture so you guys can see better what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm about to make a little sandwich here. So I like to add a little sour cream to my refried beans. This is gonna be like the, the mayo to the bread, you know? Makes it super tender and yummy. Then I have the steak, onions, jalapenos, avocado, tomato, lettuce, and the bread. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little beans to my bread. Which piece of steak do I want? I think I'll have this one. A little bit of salt, never hurt nobody. There's our torta. Probably could have added a pinch more beans, but then it would be super messy. But let me just add a pinch more. The beans are super hot, so they're a little runny. Just drizzle a little more beans on top. Yeah. All right. Okay, so fabricguru.com has tons and tons of um, fabrics and upholstery fabrics because I plan on reupholstering that green one. And so I'm looking at Kelly Worsler. This is my favorite book, Evocative Style by Kelly Worsler. I also have Pacific Natural at home, which is nice. But with this one, everything is kind of all like the same bland colors where i like kelly worsler because she really like takes more risks you know what i'm saying and i'm trying to be like kind of copy her in my own little cheap way but i was looking it seems like a lot of her reupholstery fabrics are using like african prints like a lot of the stuff has like nods to africa if you ask me like her reupholstery projects that i've been looking at i don't really have time to find them all but a lot of them have like these like animal or like, you know, geographic, not geographic, but graphic prints. So yeah, and then she also has this one project. Hold on. Okay, so here's an example of some nice fabrics that she's used. So I wanna look for something like that. I, look, I, I originally tried to find a rug like this, but oh God, so expensive. See black, I think I'm gonna try to find a black and white fabric. I did order a bunch of samples, but I still haven't found on this website uh, the black and white fabric sample. Because this, this is going to be an expensive project, so I want to order like 10 samples before I bite the bullet. Because the fabric, ooh, the fabric is going to cost me like $400, and the uh, upholstery is going to cost me $600. So I want to make sure I choose the right fabric. But I want to show you a project she has on the wall which I think I can duplicate with that Louis Vuitton vinyl right there. Let me find the page, hold on. Okay, this is some more of like the African print I'm talking about. I mean, I don't know necessarily African, but to me it looks African, a lot of her prints that she picks. Not all of them, but I'm trying to show you this little wall, wall art that she has that I know I could make. Okay, I found it. <laughs> So, this is, uh, well, I don't know, but all her, all her stuff is super expensive. So, what if I created something like this, you know, with that? I think I could. I even have clear vinyl. I could put, like, something sculptural behind it, like a piece of wood or a piece of broken marble, which I have. Okay, so since to reupholster this chair is gonna cost okay so i called the guy he's been doing it for um 
his dad's been doing it for 40 years. He's taken over the business. It's gonna cost $600 to do it. And I got this chair at an estate sale, but this is such a high quality chair. Like at the time in the 60s, when the elderly person bought it, it was like a la mode, in vogue, in trend. It was like the thing to get. And it's super comfortable and it swivels. So it's $600 to upholster. So I'm, I'm thinking like, let me save money on the fabric. I wanna show you, this is the website. It's called fabricguru.com. And I purchased um, a few items here. I purchased a sample of this tiger, which I really like, especially like for a pillow. I just thought it was kind of unique. This is what I got in the eight yards. It was only $90, so that's less than $10 a yard, super affordable. It's called Paint Splatter and Putty. I think it goes with the marble and the stone type of look that I love. Um, I got this. High performance is always good. Um, yeah. Got a sample of this chenille. Everything I picked out was chenille. This is latte, similar. This is the African print, which I can definitely like get a pillow or something. Um, I really like this jungle as well. These leaves I think are so pretty. I got a sample of this, which is kind of like Chanel. Yeah, so that's pretty much, again, the website is fabricguru.com, and I ended up going with the um, paint splatter. You see it's out of stock. So what you want to do is you want to go for the categories, you want to go to remnants. Because if you go to, like, a poultry fabric, and you just... Um, look for um, lavender lavender most of it is um, pretty expensive usually it's about twenty three dollars to thirty dollars a yard but if you go into the remnant section you'll get way better deal so that's why I recommend if just check out the remnants and see what they have they might have something that you really like so, um, yeah, and then right here you can put how many yards you want. Like, for example, I need eight yards. So it's going to update it. It's updating for everything that has eight yards and up. And as you can see, you're going to pay, like, most for the most part, less than $10 a yard. Okay, so my husband's so mad at me. He said I'm, I'm going crazy in the house, but no. It's like, I've been waiting. We've got a lot going on, but it's like, we need to take the initiative and do these little things. I removed the spindles. Now I gotta figure out how to get rid of all those nails and how to get that last piece off the wall. But I mean, I think it's totally like, you can't tell, but it's the vibe that I needed. I needed those spindles to be gone. So now I gotta get rid of all this stuff. Bring it outside. All right, so it's not easy. I have six more to go. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six times three. 18 more nails to, they don't touch Logan. They won't come up with this. So I have to use this and pry it. And it's not easy. Like my wrist is gonna be so sore tomorrow. I just know it. Okay, so I'm trying to imitate a Seth Price piece of art. And when I hold this up, because this was like folded, the way it was folded, there's some ridges. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some metallic leather and just put three little stripes to try to follow along the whole ridge effect. Okay guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Next time we'll do some other home projects, hopefully, or maybe I'll have my new bag to show you. Um, but yeah, I think it looks so much better without those ghastly spindles. And if there's a project you're trying to do at home, just go for it. 
you know? But yeah, I really opened it up and now it's like a true sunken living room. But I think definitely we need to extend the stairs, extend this part, the lower step so that it extends. Just move the furniture in a little bit, which is fine. Bye.